Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to the Sweat Lodge. You can see my old fat guy soak through going on on the shirt there and the little glistening on the arms. That's not oil. That's 100% for this land. Um, trying not to die from heat in the middle of summer. Um, I need to have some secret time with you guys. I need to, I need to confess a few things. I found a new knife. It's been making me think of old knives, unrequited loves, lost temptations and, and friendships of the past. And it's made some of the other knives jealous. Perhaps, uh, I don't know, take a look for yourself. It was an everyday kind of day, so I everyday to belt onto my knife. And I opened up my mail for some everyday correspondence and felt the tickling in the back of my mind. Yes. And I took my everyday cardboard and made it smaller everyday cardboard with my everyday carry kind of knife and thought, for something so short and fat, this was quite the performer. That's what she said. I proceeded to every day carve a wood from my tree that fell because knives are fantastic at taking larger trees and making them smaller trees. And as I pondered this brilliant theory of knife attitude, I couldn't help but wonder, what was it? There was something nagging at the back of my mind, something watching, something feeling, something with a sense of loss or abandonment or regret. Perhaps the answer could be found inside of this notch. Let me see. Mm, answers below? No, no answers there. I proceeded to every day cut the vines doing gardening work with a little slash and a hack and a swing and a swap, and it was still there. It was still as though I were being judged by memories, by lost knowledge, by lovers left in the wings. What could it be? And carrying forward, because every person in their backyard needs to prepare logs for fire and was again slightly astonished at how something so small could do something so hardcore <laughs> that's what she said again i'm hilarious but the wood was losing look at that a split there a smash here a chip there man this thing was overcoming my mind it was hard to think or believe that any other cutting tool could ever exist. So enamored was I by this everyday carry for everyday commonalities. See? What am I supposed to do? They're gonna gang up on me. Oh. Okay, not really, they're inanimate objects. But here's the thing, this little guy right here, the K-Lash EDC has actually kind of hit me in a wallop. And the thing that it made me think of that I used to have but don't anymore is the Topps Knives Overlander 2, which I have a review on that, uh, check it out. But this is, I've, I've never really EDC'd a knife before. So this is the K-Lash EDC with a Kydex sheath. They, this is what they sent me alongside the uh, Kukuri that I ordered as like a sorry it took forever kind of a thing. And uh, when, I, when I first got it, I was like, this thing? What is this thing about? I mean, first off, I've never EDC to fixed blade, not in earnest, but I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna take it along for the ride. So I spent a few weeks with that sucker clipped on my hip doing EDC stuff. And by the time it was all said and done, I found myself with this 5160 steel quarter inch blade that was about three inches long. And yeah, 
that is one giant beefcake of a little stub, but damn it if it's not versatile, right? It's got a pretty comfortable handle. This is all one piece of metal looping around here that they do kind of a soft weld and then they wrap the copper around to sort of hold it secure. And, and they've got the leather wrapped around it that makes it more comfortable. It's got a comfortable handle and the versatility of this knife is astonishing. I mean, you saw in that, that footage there, it, it's, it's a knife that can do just about everything, though it's not an expert at anything, if that makes sense, which is sometimes everything you need in a knife. And, and um, <clears throat> especially when we're talking about an everyday carry tool, that's almost exactly what you want. It, what, what you're after to have with you at all times is a knife that is capable of doing anything it encounters, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the best at anything it encounters. And this is a thing that is capable of anything and fantastic at nothing, which I think is makes it a perfect EDC tool. And I found myself really falling in love with it. I mean, truly, it was it was a fantastic thing. It's pretty, first off. I mean, I mean, less so on on the blade space since I've given it the what for, but. But when you pull it out, people are like, ooh, look at that thing. That's kind of nice. And you hold it, and you're like, kind of surprised. It's actually more comfortable on me, Captain Fat Hands here. Find myself um, with enough purchase and comfortable grabbage to deal with the tasks I need to deal with. The swoop on there makes it capable of doing more than you would think it would be. And it's just, it's one of those things where if what you need is a bomb-proof, capable of anything type of tool, then this is honestly a winner. I can't recommend it enough. And I'm, I'm frankly impressed and kind of slipped into my, my rotation in all seriousness because I, I, I really loved it. <coughs> um, there were a couple of drawbacks to it that required some adjustment and, um, and Kalash, if you're listening, something to think of, and also you as viewers and uh, potential customers to, to consider to ask of Kalash if you're interested is the the teardrop shape here while astonishing for the pulling like pulling action where also kind of encourages the hand to move forward and the the roughness of the copper here gives you a, <coughs> a great purchase point for holding on to but every once in a while I got this little sharp little ditty right here poking me in the hand reminding me that I'm holding a really sharp thing. That's <clears throat> nice in some respects as uh, it lets you know you have a dangerous tool that can get you, but also it makes it more capable of getting you. It never got me, but <coughs> <coughs> that's gross. Um, it never actually got me, but it was always like a, it was always on my mind. And, and the more and more I got used to the tool, the less and less of a problem it was. But right off the bat, like if I was laying into something, um, uh, I found myself pinching up on it. And then the other thing was the sheath. Um, overall, the sheath is actually quite fantastic. It, it holds on well. Um, for the most part. Every once in a while, I was like, oh, is it gonna go, is it gonna go? Uh, enough to where I'm, I'm still on the fence about whether or not I would like neck carry it. It's pretty heavy, don't get me wrong. We're dealing with multiple ounces, um, almost a steak, right? Eight, you know, half a pound, eight ounces maybe. Um, so the sheath is, is durable, it holds onto the knife well. <clears throat> Even when you saw me clip it on, the thing kind of, with the handle poking up, sometimes I wanted it to be sit a little lower with the sheath, but that also helped keep it under my shirt more, which made it seem less weird for people out when I was out in, in the world. Um, it made it less obvious that I was carrying this fixed blade knife, which makes people nervous sometimes. And so that was nice. Um, and, and, and it kind of poked up in my love handle space, which reminded me I just need to lose weight but also is sometimes uncomfortable, sometimes not. Thank God it was leather under there, so if I didn't have an undershirt or something, it was just kind of like, ooh, I'm touching someone else's skin. It's a cow, it's a cow skin. Um, so that that was there, and it just took getting used to, really. But the, really, the only major issue with the sheath that is something that I think is a design problem, everything else so far is like, I just get used to it because it's different its value is there is is the clip 
and, and I think I may try to fix this on my own at some point, but if it had like a, a metal clip that, that fit on there, or the Kydex were looped the other way around, because what I found happening often is I'd go to reach for it, pull it out, and then the whole sheath came along with it. I was like, ah, dang it. So I'd have to, you know, nudge a bit until that friction point was met to where it would slide out and leave the sheath. If it were hooped under, then it could catch my belt, like my belt could sit inside of the crook, catch the belt, and I'd be able to pull it free with no problems. Um, so that's a thing I think I may, with like a heat gun, try and fix myself and set up. Um, and if Kalash, you're checking it out, that's something I would recommend. And if you don't want to fix that, then viewers, if you want this, uh, maybe ask it of them and they'll, they'll want to do it for, they'll, they'll certainly want to set you up that way. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it kind of sold me on the idea of EDCing a fixed blade. It kind of sold me on uh, this particular knife and its design. It made me super happy, and it's one that I've, I'll sit in the rotation for a while, but actually not too long, because here's what I want to do. Because Kalash did a good job of being awesome, they sent me with this gift. <coughs> um, I want to pay it forward and actually with this guy here, I want to do a giveaway. You don't even have to be a patron. Uh, you don't have to be donating anything for me. It, this is a, a simply a, they made a gift. I want to send this out for you. It's this knife that you'll see, but from the point of this publishing and, and forward, I'll leave this um, posted until a week. So the end of Sunday, the, I'll write it in the description, but I'll sit it for a week, uh, post a comment down below on your favorite fixed blade knife. Tell me what it is. And then I'll, I'll randomly select from there. This is also going to include any of my Instagram followers. Um, I'll randomly select from amongst the lot of you and, and then contact you and say, hey, you won this knife. So giveaway from For This Land and Kalash Blades is the Kalash EDC with the kite on there. And know that this is one of those like, it's a gift. I'd like to keep it because I actually really like it. But I think it's more important to pay forward um, the gift and the love and send it spreading around. So make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to share the love out there. Subscribe, like, <coughs> hit up that Patreon. Make sure to take care of your health your respiratory system and all that good stuff um and you know remember whatever you do for this land you do for everybody godspeed